Do you need a better and faster way to transfer your files? We've got the tornado from Data Drive Through on this episode of Gadget. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway, Australian for Uber. Back to Gadget at the Techstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balasser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits, we're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology at the University Catholic Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii. Now, we're going to be talking about data transfer today. Now, don't tune out. This is not a complete uber geeky show. If you're an IT professional, you need to do data transfer. If you're a technology enthusiast, you need to do data transfer. If you're a noob, if you're someone who just wants the stuff to work, you need to do data transfer. And over the years, we've all developed different ways of doing it. Some of us still prefer the good old sneaker net, you know, loading up a floppy disk of old, if you still have one, or a CD-ROM drive or a flash drive and, and physically walking it from one computer to the next. You know, it's not really fast or efficient, but it tends to work every time. Those of us who are a bit more advanced have set up our Wi-Fi or our Ethernet, our 10100, our gigabit, so that we can transfer files back and forth as long as we're all connected to the network, which is fantastic. That's what we do here. But you have to be a bit more advanced to be able to do that. I mean, Ethernet is pretty easy, but it can be daunting if you don't know about permissions and the way that a network works. Still others I know have... Uh, uh, gone to emailing themselves everything. Whenever they want to transfer data from one computer to another, they will actually drop all of those files into email messages and send it to themselves. Now that works, but it's most definitely not fast or efficient. Well, a little company called Data Drive Through sent us their product, their Tornado, with a bunch of claims that reminded us of uh, you know a late night infomercial. Honestly, we weren't really sure what to think about this. We get a lot of products here at the lab for Gadget, and many of them never make the show. A lot of them get sent right back. Some of them we take a look at, we test, and they just never work. I mean, when you have a product that promises you the stars and the moon and then delivers nothing, there's just not a whole lot of good that you can say about it. Well, the tornado is the exception to that rule. We took this out of its storage this last weekend, and, um, well, when we plugged it in, we were a little bit blown away by what we found. The Tornado is a pocket-sized device that weighs less than half a pound. The device is compatible with Windows 98, ME, 2000, XP, and Vista, with a Mac-compatible version currently in the works. The Tornado is entirely self-contained. There are no drivers, no power adapters, and no additional cables needed to use the device. The Tornado has a retractable 4-foot cord and is entirely USB-powered. The only indicator lights on the unit show you when the unit connects to each client computer and when a transfer is in progress. Using the Tornado is easy. Now, we're not talking about regular easy here, but more like could be used by a World of Warcraft addict who has been awake and gaming for eight days straight while consuming nothing but Hot Pockets and Red Bull while watching Xena Warrior Princess reruns easy. You simply extend the cable out of the Tornado, connect it to the two computers that you want to link, and it doesn't matter which order that you do it in, and you wait. In a few seconds, the software will automatically load and your Windows computer will display the Tornado as if it were a CD-ROM drive. If you're using anything below Vista, you may have to reboot the first time you connect the Tornado, but after that, it really is a plug-and-play experience. We connected an XP desktop to a Vista notebook for the test. Within five seconds of plugging in the Tornado, the software auto-launched and we were greeted with a Tornado program, showing a split-screen representation of the two computers. Copying files was as simple as locating them in the window, then dragging and dropping them from one computer to another. The performance of the tornado blew us away. We were expecting moderate performance, perhaps something just above sneaker net speeds, but definitely nothing like what Data Drive Through had promised. We were able to transfer a 2.15 gigabyte file over the tornado in just 112 seconds. That's about 160 megabits per second. When we transferred a smaller 108 megabyte file, 
the performance increased to about 184 megabits per second, finishing the transfer in just under 5 seconds. A 50 megabyte file took 2.1 seconds for a performance of more than 196 megabits per second. This reversed the trend that we are accustomed to seeing with data transfer devices, which tend to drop their transfer rate with smaller files. Our results also lead us to believe that the bottleneck was not the Tornado or the 480 megabit per second USB 2.0 bus speed, but rather the limitations of the client computers. In short, this thing smokes. The Tornado is available online right now for $60 at www.thetornado.com. The performance of this unit really was a pleasant surprise. I mean, it, it didn't just kick butt. It wasn't just good and above a, a sneaker net. But, I mean, this thing challenges most Ethernet networks. Not just 10100, but some gigabit. When you consider the overhead that has to go into getting that sort of transfer speed. The fact that it is so easy to use. I mean, the, the, the fact that I, I literally, in this little pouch, this pouch that can be thrown into the back of my geek knapsack, I have everything that I need to make really, really quick transfers between computers just as fantastic. They've built all the circuitry, all the cables, all the, the power devices that you need into this little enclosure, which means that, um, you know, it's something that I could give to a total IT ignoramus and uh, get them to use it properly the first time. If you are an Uber geek, if you know you're going to be transferring data between computers, I mean, if you're that person that people always go to for computer help, or if you're just one of these people who wants an easy way to get data from, say, your office computer to your notebook that you take home, then might I suggest that you take a look at the Tornado from Data Drive Through. At $60, it is a bit more than many flash drives, but, I mean, this thing is just so much faster, so much more flexible, and uh, it can be used for a lot more things than just sneaking office data around the network. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to find out more about the Tornado or any of the gadgets that we've had on the show, you can go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. Click on the Gadget tab and you'll be able to find a list of all of our episodes and where to download the high-resolution versions. If you want to send us an email message, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Vallis here. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber geek without you. All right, so like, hey, internets, like, uh, my name is Ryan, and I'm like a gamer. I'm like totally pro. I'm like, you know, I like, this is my job. I like, don't get paid or nothing, but like, if we were online right now, like, you'd know me, because uh, they call me Padre. I don't really know why they call me Padre. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Quien es tu papa? You know, you've probably seen me, you know, maybe like right before you died or something, like playing Halo or a little bit of RTS, FPS action. That was me, you know, with the headshot and all. I am doing this for my brother because like he's a total noob, okay? He's like my twin, you know, his name's Robert and all. And uh, like, you know, even when we were born, I came out like three minutes earlier. So like, like at the beginning, I was like 1-0. And then like we grew up together and we were like playing games and all. And he would like suck at everything. But like he went off to like college or something or whatever and, and like got educate, educate, he got like, smarted up like after that he like joined the priesthood or something and it got like all celibate because i can't that's like what noobs have to do or something like he has a show now like on the internet he does like iptv or something and i told him dude like how much of a noob are you i mean nobody watches video on the internets anyways like i guess like people watch him or something and he comes up to me one day he goes hey ryan hey ryan like you're a gamer yeah i'm like whatever noob and he says hey gateway's gonna like send me like their game stuff and i'm like so, <laughs> lol, like lol, like epic lols. Oh, I got a gateway. Oh, let me bust out my spreadsheet. I don't know why now, because like, I know he's still a noob and I'm like still totally pro, but like ever since he got the gateway and stuff, like uh, he sometimes he kind of like, you know, like always wins now. There's something wrong with the, like the space time, uh, the rift, like, uh, like, like you caused it because you gave like a noob like a system that 
you know, it's, it's not a gateway box. It's like, like awesome and stuff. You could seal like the rift or something like I saw on this show once by sending me like the box, like the, you know, the kick ass like gaming box and stuff. And then like, I'm gonna like make a show and my brother's gonna help me cause like, you know, he's a noob and he like sucks at everything. But you know, some things he sucks less at, you know, maybe like when I'm not owning everybody, like, you know, when I sleep the 45 minutes a day, he could like totally just use that and like make his show. And cause like I'm part of it. So his show will be like, not so much to suck. I'll give you my address, but uh, you could just like, actually I don't have an address right now. Cause like, you know, mom's kicked me out of the house and all. Uh, something like, you know, you're 34 and you don't have a job or nothing. So I'm living with my brother. So you could like send it to him and he'll like, you know, hook me up and stuff. And uh, maybe if you're lucky enough, I'll like see you on the internet and I'll like, you know, own you and something and then you'll give you a little spanks. So, um, so yeah, okay, thanks.